Backstage, there's a man named Brian, who for the time being is married to a woman named Sandra. Oh. But, but, but that could change today. Everybody welcome Africa to the Mari Show. <laughs> you see, just two weeks ago, Africa reached out to Brian's wife, Sandra, and revealed to her that Brian is the father of Africa's 20-month-old daughter, Kamora. Oh. How cute is she? Although Brian admits he slept with Africa one time, he is positive he is not the father of baby Kimura. Ooh. He says one time. One time. He's a whole liar. Huh? He knows it was definitely more than once. How many, how, how many times? Would I you wouldn't even be able to count and tell you. It was definitely more. So why are you so mad with him right now? It's not really that I'm upset with him. It's the fact I'm upset with his wife, and she's steady harassing me, and ah. she's the one who called here for the show, and she didn't even show up. Oh, right. <laughs> okay, so you found out you were pregnant. You told Brian? Yes and no. It wasn't like we had a full conversation about it, but yes, he did know that I was pregnant. He did? Yeah. He doesn't say that. He says he didn't know... He hasn't known until recently. I was around him when I was pregnant. And he knew that. They got married after I was pregnant. What did Brian tell you that he had done that you say is a lie? He told me he had obsessed me. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I, I mean, I found out after I was pregnant and then I came to, somebody had told me that him and his wife were trying to have a baby too. So there's no way that you have obsessed me if you're right. trying to have a child. Right, okay. So what do you think the real reason is that he's saying this is not his child? His wife. Oh, it's about his wife? Yes. You think he stayed away all this long because of his wife? Yes, I know that's what it is, because right. he's a great father. I'll give him that. He's a great father to his kids. You're a liar. Yes, I'm Lies. a liar. What am I lying about? Lies. What am I lying about? I think Brian you lying looks... because you used to be at my house when you were pregnant doing my daughter's hair. You I th did you used think, to be... You think Brian looks like Kamora? Everybody swears that they look like I, yeah, I see it. <laughs> I definitely see it. Okay. Oh, Obviously, if he says he didn't even know that he was supposed to be the father, he hasn't done anything for Kamara, no, right? he hasn't. Let's meet him. Here's Brian, everybody. <laughs> about because the whole time you was pregnant, you was at my house doing my daughter's no, hair. Not the whole time. I yeah, clearly so did say that I, I was around you, know you, you and your wife you're while I was pregnant. telling me I didn't know that you were pregnant. B, you ain't I, hear you me were, sit so out here and say my that question. you knew? Listen, you were pregnant. You were at my house doing my daughter's hair. This is how all this started in exactly. the first place. Listen, the whole time you was doing this, you never sat there and was like, oh, Brian, this is your baby. No, After I didn't. After you go get right. another we DNA not, test from somebody else, then you come to me years later talking about this might be my child. So when you contacted my wife, listen, when you I didn't con contact your wife, listen, somebody else contacted All right, her. when she got contacted, me and my wife drove back to where we was from and I took a DNA test for you and you didn't want to turn it in. No, you guys didn't want to turn it in. I, why you had it? No, I, I came told to where you were I and bought did it. the test so you guys can pay I, to send it in. Did I, did you I go ahead did and take the test? You guys did not want to pay to send it you in. You had it, I returned what it to you. What am I going to take out of my kids' mouths for when you could have paid for it? Did you I ask? Did you ask me, when I took the DNA test, did you ask me to... Before you guys even came up, you was talking big money. You said, I... we'll go buy the test, we'll pay you for it. You had the test. No issue. You had the test I had present. the test, so I told I you to pay it for it. I took it and gave it back to you. What happened to the test? I still have it in my car. Oh! They wouldn't give me the money to send it in. So like I said, I have other children. I'm not going to take away from any of mine to pay for no test, and he could have... <laughs> Let's get something straight. Did Africa tell you she was pregnant early on? I seen Africa when she was pregnant. She didn't know if I was the father or somebody else oh, was. Oh, she, she never said you were the father. Never. Until a week ago, then it came out that I supposed to be her father. A week ago? A week ago? I'm talking about so when, you when, don't remember when, when you were coming to my house, you never said that shit. people put the pictures of you oh, and my yeah. baby when she was a newborn. When, when it was a newborn, and you told, my and... Wife, you told my wife, no, Brian's not the father. No, I told her I take care of my child. I didn't come to nobody with nothing. Did I know. You or did and you then know? all of a sudden, after all this time, here it goes. Right. Now right. I am the, the father. The same person who put the collages together is the same person who came It sure off. wasn't me, because right. I never had a problem. It wasn't me. Brian. Brian. 
Did you have a vasectomy or didn't you have a vasectomy? No, I got six kids. I had a vasectomy. <laughs> then why you lie? When you slept with Africa, she yep. says many more times than you do, you say, but uh, you were on a break with your wife yes. at the time, right? Yes, it is. And you true. actually weren't married at the time. No, right? I was not. She says you would accept this baby, but it's your wife. No, I accept it. If the baby's mine, I accept it. I just want to know the truth. Why'd you wait so long to tell the truth? I'm not gonna deny one of my kids that this mine is mine. I'm gonna take care of it. And you're not gonna tell. You're not gonna do anything for the child until you know it's yours. Yes. Oh, I see. By the way, do you think that you look like that little girl? There's a possibility that she's mine. That's why I'm here. Okay. Well, Sandra, your wife, refused to come to the show, but she did send a message. And this is the message. Take a look. I told my husband, Brian, that I will not come on the show with him. He made his bed, and now he's got to lie in it. I'm not going to look stupid next to him when we find out the results of this test. Brian. My message to you is, if this baby is proven to be yours, don't bother coming home. So, my thing is, why did she call the show if she wasn't going to come? Yeah. If this is your child, are you going home? Well, true. I'm going to have to work that out as a man. I'm the one that made the mistake while I was engaged. <laughs> In the case of 20-month-old Kimora, Brian, you are the father. I apologize. I apologize you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brian. Yep. So then you're going to stand up your good father. I'm not mad about it. I knew that. So I'm mad about now we know what we got to do. Yeah. Right? And you know the type of person I am, the type of exactly. father I am. Exactly. You heard what I said. You're a great like father. Like I told you, I was never I mad about none of this situation. It's, you know, y'all had y'all spouse and spouse, which I know she felt some type of way, you felt some type of way. That's why I was silenced through the whole thing. I got the truth and we're gonna take it from there. Have you been told that you're the father, but fear you're actually raising another man's child? Please call us right now at 1-888-45-MARI to speak with someone from our show about taking a DNA test. Thanks for watching everybody. Now, if you wanna see more Mari content, click here and be sure to subscribe to be the first to know about new videos.